This is Motor Merc to Mission Control, initiating pre-flight check and requesting departure clearance. Jazzer 1, I'm sorry, sir, request the kill. Five golf mic, uh, actually, I'm in altitude, descend to maintain 1-1000. One, one Cleared for takeoff. Army 72010, Hi. Oh. <laughs> got all distracted. Huh? I got all distracted. Huh? I'm not used to people saying hi. Really? It's very nice of you. you yeah. That was pretty cool, actually. I don't get a whole lot of interaction with other motorists on the road, uh, especially not positive interaction, so it was really nice, actually, to have somebody just say hi for the sake of saying hi. It's a good omen for the rest of the day. I should make an effort myself to be a little more social with strangers so that I can have these kinds of good... You know, if you don't try to have interactions with people, you never give yourself a chance to have positive interactions with people. I mean, that's why outgoing people are more popular and have more friends, because they, t they, they, they make an effort to socialize with people, even strangers. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Something I want to work on, it's kind of hard to work on sometimes, because I think human nature is to be not necessarily shy, but definitely sort of clicky. You know, it's humans just have a tendency to to want to stay with their own in crowd and not really branch out. But if you do make an effort to branch out, then you meet new people, you get in touch with new groups, you get involved in new groups and stuff like that. So I think it's probably a good thing to to be outgoing, not just for social reasons, but because it gives you that. You know, for one thing, it does give you more social interactions. It also puts you. Uh, you know, it's good for networking. It's good for it's good for everything. What's up guys? It's chilling. How's it going? Not bad. Are you from this area? Uh yeah. Yeah, I live up in the San Fernando Valley. Oh give me just a second. Well that was nice. I'm glad I stopped. Just ran into those two guys who actually are from Canada. So yeah, I guess this road is famous enough to attract people from out of the country to come and see it. They were just kind of chilling at the bottom of the hill trying to decide what to do next. And, uh, you know, they were wondering where Neptune's Net is. That's another popular biker hangout spot in the area. They've got seafood and beers and stuff there, so it's a really cool place to chill. Uh, popular with bikers on the weekends you get bikes just lined up and down the road there for like a couple hundred yards it just it gets packed so they wanted to check that out they wanted to see the rest of Mall Holland so I kind of pointed out or not pointed out but gave them a heads up about spots where the road kind of forks in weird places and appears to dead end but actually it, like you have to make a left turn to stay on the road and stuff like that so cool guys Super nice. Just here to enjoy the California coast. Motor Merc is happy to be of assistance. Fancy meeting you here. <laughs> so I picked these guys up on the snake. Apparently they are visiting from Canada, actually. So the road is famous enough to attract some international attention. Uh, they didn't know that that one particular section was called the snake, I guess. But 
they are familiar with Mulholland Highway and the twisty turny beautiful scenery that it has to offer and uh, they just were asking a little bit about uh, you know what kind of other roads are in the area how to get around a little bit so I figured you know since I've taken a little time out today to just enjoy myself then I should uh, show them around they asked if I could help them find their way to Neptune's net because some parts of Mulholland are cut off weirdly and have forks in the road or places where you have to take another road to continue on Mulholland so yeah I'm just uh, leading these guys down to Neptune's net we're gonna chill out there by the beach a little bit This is a continuation of Mulholland Highway. There's a, there's a place where if you're headed west, northwest on Mulholland, the road actually ends and you have to take Decker Canyon towards the coast for a little ways. But then you can jump back off onto Mulholland Highway. It splits off again from Decker and you come down this slightly less scenic, less well-paved route and it'll take you all the way down to the beach. So. I don't usually take this part of Mulholland, I'll take Decker or Canaan or something else down to the coast, but these guys are interested in completing Mulholland from one end to the other, which I can definitely understand, so I am happy to oblige them. They came all the way from Canada to see it, who am I to tell them <laughs> we're going to take a different route? And they came on a pretty good day. It's pretty clear out. Nice weather, perfect temperature. And just a lovely springtime afternoon. I have a feeling I'm going a little slower than they would like.
tell you, Steve, that was a great ride. Was that alright? I didn't know if I was going too fast or too slow for you guys. Yeah. So yeah, actually, I think I forgot to formally thank you for uh, buying me lunch and a beer. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed the ride. So yeah, in all honesty, I really expected to leave school and just go for a little quick one or two hour ride about, but uh, I'm glad I stopped and talked to these guys just to say hi because I ended up making new friends, and I had a great time today. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching the uh, unexpected first episode of Making Friends with Motormerk. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video.